What's up, Gemini? I'm Chris. Welcome to your February tarot store. Now you see the light's a little bit hard for me to get. It's like the sun is directly in my face. It's either too dark or too bright. What a surprise for the Gemini reading. The lighting is one of two extremes, huh? All right, guys, so there's a lot going on for us this month. Before we get into it, I just want to make a couple announcements. Um, I'm switching officially over to a website yay, in March. Um, so right now I'm trying to transition out of my Etsy shop, which is where I sell readings. So right now all my readings are marked down to clear out. Uh, and so if you're interested in one, if you've ever been interested in one, check it out now. Uh, the prices are never going to be this low again. I'm just trying to get rid of them all, all my inventory until um, they're sold out. So go ahead and check that out as well. Um, I also have some mini love readings for the month of February because we're all about love, right? Um, so those are really affordable. You can check that out if you want to get some insight into what you have to look for for to, to love. Um, Instagram, check me out there. I have these stories posted with the weekly readings as well as some fun pics and the donations have been life changing and I love you guys for giving that. Uh, it's so generous of you. Uh, thank you so much. And that link is there as well. So Gemini, are you feeling this little breath of fresh air? Are we feeling a little lighter in February? Are we feeling a little bit of uh, a sigh of relief? Are we feeling like we're elevating? Are we feeling like we're moving to the next level? Because that's how I'm feeling, right? And I think what's going on for us, guys, is that we are really elevating. We're owning ourselves. We're owning the things we have to offer. We we are in this place. I wasn't sure if it was just me and, like, it's because I'm getting older or something. But, like, I just feel like in a place where now, like, all the things that I've done my whole life, all my interests, all my hobbies, all my pursuits are now coming around full circle in a way that they're now getting recognition. It's helping me, like, stand out and, and, and um become more powerful in the world, feeling this abundance. Like this tarot stuff, like you guys might have noticed that I used to be a little inconsistent. I was very kind of insecure about doing this like in a sort of professional way. Like when I was younger, I was made fun of for reading tarot cards. Like people didn't think it was cool when I was a kid, right? Um, I dated people in the last few years who kind of scoffed at it, you know? They thought that I was, they were serious artists and like tarot cards were a bunch of bullshit and it made me really insecure about what I was doing. Now I've embraced it and now it's being really successful and I've done little things like put my tarot scopes on my Instagram stories and people who have no interest in tarot, people who don't watch my YouTubes have been raving about them and love them and ask me for them every week. And I think that's just to show us, Gemini, what we what happens when we embrace what we have to offer, what happens when we put ourselves out there and just act with confidence. And like we have this moment right now where we can trust ourselves so much more than before. We can trust our wisdom. We can trust our experience. We can trust our intuition and our instincts and our intellect in a brand new way. And, and we're moving into a place, Gemini, where now we're getting perspective on the way things have been for us. We're getting perspective in a way where we're looking down at things and being like, almost not even being able to, to uh, believe that we ever were, were that insecure, that we fucked with that person, that we, we let ourselves sit at this job getting stale for all this time. Like now we're being like, what the fuck are we doing? We're getting this breath of fresh air. Our, our mutable air cells are just like moving and with big gusts right now. And we're ready for abundance. We're ready to accomplish things. We're ready to be successful. And that's what's coming this month, Gemini. That's what's coming this year of abundance in love, abundance in finances. Like it's just coming pouring into us. And I think because of that, uh, the two sides of ourselves, our twins, are kind of, we're feeling a harmony with ourselves. We're coming home to ourselves, right? But the lovers, we have the idea of love, but we also have the idea of two, like, uh, two um, polarities balancing. And I think what happens is that when Gemini, when we're survival mode, when we're, when we're struggling, when we're in our feelings, when we're hurting, those two sides kind of split a little bit, right? We, have, we feel more pronounced between the dark side and the light side of us, right? We feel more pronounced with the one who wants to fuck shit up and the one who just wants to love everybody. And I think right now, Gemini, we're coming to a place where we're learning how to be both of those things. We're learning how to be tough but gentle. We're learning how to be loving, but like have boundaries. We're knowing how to be successful and play, right? So it came up in the Aquarius reading 
um, that one of the things I think we do have to be careful of Gemini is going to extremes because I think that part of this uh, quality of our sign is that when we are doing well we tend to like go very hard in the other direction right so so we're making lots of money so we're like yeah let's spend it right we, we've been really disciplined so then we become super self-indulgent and don't do anything and become lazy like we swing so hard one way or the other and Gemini in this time of abundance in this time of success we were like elevating ourselves um, be careful especially through Aquarius season um, to not go too hard in the other direction to not lose the work that you've been doing uh because you just want to go a little wild it's like budget fatigue or diet fatigue you know when you've been doing something and you've been so strict about it how you just want to like let loose sometimes and go wild so gemini like let's go into the cards right now um just on the last one last note just uh, I, I really believe and trust that when we elevate ourselves, it's like we become radiant and the people around us feel it and the positivity that we feel gets spread to the people around us. So trust that the things that are happening for us, the, the good things that are happening for us, Gemini, Six of Pentacles, uh, will be felt by the people around us as it was coming out of my mouth, right? We have the Six of Pentacles as our central situation. What do I always say about this card? This is the card of somebody who is doing so well well and is so grounded and so stable and balanced and secure and everything that just came out of my damn mouth Gemini right watch this video to the end but if you watch the first five minutes you kind of already know a little bit about what to expect in February right just intuitively see what I said about trusting our intuition and our instincts and our judgment look in our central situation we have six of pentacles so we're feeling balanced I think our money is going to be a little more stable I think that we're going to feel in a place where now we are feeling stable in our hearts we're feeling balanced with who we are and now we're able to give that out to the world right like I was just saying as the card came out it, it's going to be a situation where the people around us are going to feel the joy that we're feeling for ourselves they're going to see the excitement they're going to see the balance they're going to benefit from our good place we're going to just give of ourselves to people and we're going to let the world know what a good place we're in let the world know how happy we are uh, uh we're children of spring right like what did i say about lightheartedness look at this this car just surrounded by butterflies a very earthy card that that is just surrounded by lightness and springiness and good feelings right so Gemini, in February, I think we have a lot to look forward to in terms of a sort of balancing act and feeling stable than we were before. We, we might feel better about our jobs than we have in a long time. We might be transitioning into things that make us more money or make us feel fulfilled. We might have, uh, I also feel like this is uh, support systems around us, like, like people, family, friends, loved ones, significant others who just prop you up and like make you feel strong and make you feel safe and secure and and gemini february is going to be a month where we start to feel that we start to feel a little lighter we start to feel like we're like we're making moves and we're and we're going places because what's on our mind gemini success ace of wands we have power we have success we have opportunities coming our way and this is not just opportunities coming out of the sky but like opportunities that we are uh uh, creating for ourselves, right? It's a combination of the two, right? It's a combination of recognizing what we're good at, recognizing what we have to offer and going in that direction. And then like what happens is that like those opportunities start to present themselves to us. What is it that um, that that's saying about uh, like part of success is luck and the harder you work, the luckier you get. This is what I'm thinking of here, Gemini. Like opportunities come our way, but it's because we know what we're about, because we know uh, who we are we know what we have to offer we know what our skills are and we've been putting it out there we've been taking opportunities we've been hustling we've been feeling the fire under our asses and and really working to make things happen and really working to be successful and I think this is the start of a new phase of our lives Gemini I think February is like a, 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 a something that propels us forward into the future where where we're getting a better sense of what we should be doing for a living we're getting better sense of of, of what our real passions are, right? We're connecting to that. This came up for Aquarius and I think the same thing for Gemini. We're coming to a place where we're reconnecting to our to our passions to the things we loved as children. You know how I just started off this reading talking about, uh, uh, you know, reading tarot as a child uh as a teenager i started when i was doing the 16 about i would say was when i bought my first tarot deck i'm 32 now um 
uh, you know, reconnecting to that, kindling that passion, right? Remembering why you're doing the things you love. Also, like I'm a writer and I've been working on ideas and that's something I also started around the same time in my life, around 16. So Gemini, look back to the things that you were passionate about when you were kids. That That's a big signal and a big direction. It's almost like the wand is like a big flag waving in your face to saying, hey, look here, look here, pay attention to this. This is important. This is good for you to follow. This is good for you to pursue. So Gemini, starting off this reading like with a lot with a lot of optimism, with a lot of passion, with a lot of sense of ourselves being strong and secure and, and knowing our gifts and knowing what we have to offer and the universe kind of um, you know, taking that and, and, and giving us giving us the opportunities we deserve and giving us the opportunities that uh, are our are our like sort of birthright, I almost want to say. But again, my warning here with the wands is that we do have primal fire, right? We do have raw energy of fire. So like I said from the beginning, be careful not to uh, burn yourself out, right? Be careful not to go too far in one direction where now you're now you're indulging. So in the past, uh, I'll show you the way that I'm reading these cards. It kind of goes like in a circle chronologically. So we're starting off with our deals with the Ace of Wands, and now we're moving into some cards that represent the past. And here we have the Two of Swords in our past position. So what is this about, guys? We we weren't sure, right? We were, look, up, look at holding us back. Like, look at the way these swords are crossed. It's almost as if, like, you know, you're saying, like, no fuck boys, right? But it's like to ourselves it's like it's like keeping ourselves from moving forward right the two of swords is the place where where we're thinking a lot and we're in our heads and we're reflecting and and we're not really doing much but we're where our minds are active and we're thinking and and there's also just like this built-in limitation with this card so i think we spent a lot of time gemini in the past few months the past few years thinking a lot especially the last two years right getting our shit together but it wasn't a bad thing right i think it was a getting of our shit together right and we were figuring out who we are we were figuring out what we're about we're figuring out what this stage in our life means to us right uh, we might have experienced a lot of change and a lot of a lot of things that that undermined and qu made us question things because whenever there's upset and chaos we have to get clear and come back to ourselves and figure out what we're about and I think that what's been happening Gemini is that we've been doing that work and we've been thinking and we've been considering and we've been making choices and I think the choices that we've been making and the decisions we've been trying to make are about do we show up in the world as our truest selves do we put what we have to offer out into the world in a way that uh you know sometimes I feel like with this car we're looking at someone who's maybe being a little safe Right? Maybe someone who's a little afraid. Uh, the Two of Swords is someone who's like thinking a lot, right? They're in their head. They're they're not making moves. They're the the the, the swords representing thought are kind of like constraining in a way and, and heavy and, and you're not doing anything with them, just sitting there. And so I think we've been thinking a lot about like how we go out into the world, how we present ourselves, what how much of ourselves we let be seen. And again, this time was important though, Gemini. This time was about developing ourselves. This time was about uh, getting in touch with who we are. This time was about going through some shit with the seven of wands, right? Struggling with ourselves, struggling with our, our sense of self, struggling with what I said about the tarot thing and how people like were, were making me doubt myself. This is like having to defend yourself. And maybe that fight sometimes, Gemini, was too much. Sometimes like it was maybe easier to, to to, to dumb ourselves down or to not do the things we love and the things that we're passionate about because like we didn't want to stir the pot, right? We didn't want to, to uh, push people. We didn't want to invite criticism, right? We didn't want to do any of that stuff. And, and I think we're moving to a place right now where we just don't give a shit, but it's been a long fight and it's been a lot of energy expended. And, 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 and this is what I meant by the energy of burning out. Like the seven of wands sometimes is like enthusiasm and excitement. But for me right now, looking at this, this feels like we just spent so much time uh, arguing. We spent so much time. Remember how I said in the beginning, like, uh, uh, things that were once important to us now seem petty and dumb. And I think that's what the Seven of Wands is saying here is like, and, and, and with the Two of Swords together, it's like kind of saying the things that we've been thinking about, the things that have made us been in, be in our head that makes us maybe want to quit and maybe not go forward and, and question ourselves and deter ourselves from moving forward. Um, now those things, we're, we're done fighting. 
right? We'll see what other cards come out here, but I'm already, I can already tell you we're done fighting. Well, we're just putting ourselves out there. And if people have a problem with it, if people are hating on us, if people are trying to hold us back, it doesn't matter because what we're not doing is this anymore, right? We're not holding ourselves back. We have our eye right now, Gemini, on this. And this is what is giving us most of the power of our perspective is knowing how much greater things can be, right? What I said about perspective and looking down on things before, we have a taste of this. We have a taste of success. We have a taste of love. We know what the world has to offer us. And now this shit is petty garbage. This shit, we're not going to be stuck here anymore, right? Because we also have like real love and real support around us. So fuck these people who weren't there for us. Fuck these people who made us question ourselves, who put us down, who made us doubt that we had something valuable to offer, whether that was of a lover or a friend or even family and stuff like that, right? Or be even just society at large making you question yourself, Gemini. We, we, we are not in this place of fighting. Like we're this big ass wand and we've always been that big ass wand, right? And look at we have these little wimpy little wands trying to hold us in. And look how the wand kind of like let itself be held in. And now it's like, no, now we know we're that big ass wand and we're like, come at me, bro. You ain't nobody gonna stop me now. Ain't nobody gonna hold me down. Oh no, I got to keep on moving. We moving, Gemini, we moving. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's go ahead and keep seeing what's going on. But uh, it's a month so far of being in our power and in our stability. And so far, we were just looking at minor arcana cards here. So I think that what we're doing is in the real world, in our real lives, our day to day lives, we're taking control of shit, right? We're, we are making moves, we're making things happen. Two of Pentacles. So what happened? We now we have two, we, we have two twos. Right? So we have one, two that kind of kept us in our place. We have one, two that made us overthink and made us like uh, uh, question ourselves and doubt and not want to move. And now with the two of pentacles, we're multitasking, we're taking on projects and we're taking on tasks. And we've been like, I think part of this energy that we've been doing, part of the reason why we know we're that big one is because we've been hustling and making things happen. Uh, January for me, I put out so much content in January, more than I have ever since I've been on YouTube. And, and, and this is that work. This is that energy energy and the hustle of taking on projects and and doing things like that but we're also balancing ourselves right we also might have been feeling uh at peace because of our connections to other people so if you're someone who's uh been dating somebody or if you're somebody who's been uh you know just connecting with family and friends who are supportive of you like there's just so much support gemini like i've been feeling so much love in this past few months in the past year from my family and from my friends from my boyfriend from everybody like it feels so good and, and now what happens with the two pentacles yeah we're juggling yeah we're taking on a lot of tasks but we're also finding balance this card is about balance it's about stability it's about you know there's these rough waters but we here look at the harmony look at how how easily these these leaves flow between each other right this is synergy this is those two parts of ourselves right like i was saying before finding balance and now knowing what we have to do for ourselves and and knowing what we have to do to take care of ourselves so that was part of the benefit that we got out of that fight that we were going through we there's something about fighting and having to defend yourself and having to pick yourself up up when you've been knocked down which the seven of wands is showing us that makes you more clear on who you are and what you're about i needed those people to make me question this because you know what it did ultimately even though i disappeared from youtube for a little while um what it did was it made me realize how much i love this shit and how much this is like something i'm really good at and something i love to do and and, and i needed to get knocked around i needed to get beaten up i needed to have to define for myself what i loved and what i was passionate about which is what you do when you pick yourself up and you keep going and then here we have our turning point, Gemini, the sun, right? Uh, literally, we have sunlight streaming into this window. It's January and it's 75 degrees and sunny in, in Los Angeles. So literally lots of sun, right? Um, and then this is also giving me those Leo vibes of, of knowing ourselves, of the ego, and of the ego in the best way possible. The ego that says, I know I have something to offer. The ego that says, I know I have skills. I have... 
I, I, I'm proud of myself. I feel good. Remember what I also said about that childlike connection to ourselves, right? Uh, rekindling that child, that, that inner child, the rekindling that part of ourselves that was so easily passionate and so curious about the world and so inquisitive and, and just so like uh, effortlessly knowing what we are, right? Uh, 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 you know, we are that we are that person who is just like, uh, you know, when Gemini's, I feel like we have a bad rap for a lot of reasons, right? But one of the reasons we have a bad rap is just from speaking our mind too, frankly. And I've always thought of Gemini's as the child, like, child. you know how we say like from the mouths of babes, when kids say something that's so accurate and so honest, like they don't even know that what they're saying is wrong or hurtful or offensive because all they're doing is 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 spitting back what they see. And that's Gemini, right? We don't usually say things to be hurtful. We say things because it's the truth and we're honest and we just don't know. We can lie, but we don't know how to be disingenuous. Like truly disingenuous. We can put on a face sometimes to be nice, right? But but that childlike uh, uh, ability of ours to just be rooted in the truth and to know ourselves and to know what we're about and to know what we're feeling. And now six of cups moving forward. And, and to me, a lot of people say this is a card of the past and that is that. Um, and now we have another six. So guys, just repeating the themes of what I was saying here. Now we have this connection to the things that made us happy in the past. The six of cups is, is emotional comforts, it's joy, and it's also a bit of nostalgia. So this month going forward, I think that there may be moments, Gemini, where we do have to cope with um, who we are in a new way, where we do have to sort of separate from what we used to be and the way we used to live. Uh, so that might be giving up certain habits, that might be letting go of certain relationships, but whatever it is, there is a sense here, I think, of both the joy and passion of our childhood coming back in a way that re reinvigorates us while also being a call out to the fact that um uh we 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 are we are moving forward right we are moving forward because if if these cards are connected the the horse is kind of look at the way the horse is kind of walking away from the cups a little a little eight of cups ish but not in a in a heavy way more so like we're just moving on we're growing up if this little child was growing up in this house here right now this little child is on his horse and moving towards the future moving in the direction of the sun's gaze right so we're moving towards happiness gemini we this month february is going to be a month where we feel different than who we've always been but in a new way right so we at the same time that we're connecting to the passions that we had as a child we're connecting to our child look childlike sense of joy and wonder there's also certain things about that that we we are letting go of so it's about like being who we were then in a new way i didn't do tarot like this when i was a kid i did some readings for my friends here and there but to put myself on a public platform that was something i never would have done when i was younger right so that's just an example of how we are re re reconnecting to that part of ourselves but in a newer way in a more grown-up way in a more advanced way three of pentacles so guys super super creative this month i think february we're gonna be making things happen whether you're doing something artistically whether you're creating content whether you're writing whether you're i point to my notebook whatever it is that you're doing if you're just creating a business if you're entrepreneuring whatever this is that creative energy of the three of pentacles is hours in february we are building we are creating we are moving forward we are also collaborating so look for opportunities in, in february um Gemini to collaborate with other people, uh, whether that's actively in what you do, or I think it could also benefit you to find things like say, if you are running a business or you do uh, do creative work to find people who can kind of help you elevate your what you do. So for instance, uh, just as an example, I would maybe find someone who's good at video editing or taking photographs so that I can put that on my website kind of thing, right? Uh, in your creative pursuits, um, do look towards who can help you and, and you're just going to feel secure. I think that, again, the three of pentacles to me in a different deck that I use for my weeklies, if you want to check that out, um, 
the uh, it shows this guy just like joyous, right? He's 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 building things and he's just with a smile on his face. And I've always felt the Three of Pentacles was a card about putting yourself on display. So just like I said from the beginning, Gemini, um, what you're doing and the work you're putting out into the world and who you've become is gonna be noticed by people this month. In February, people are gonna see what you're doing. People, are, you're gonna get recognition. You're going to get um, some accolades. You're gonna get people who probably want. You might not even have to look. For for uh, 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 collaboration, people might be looking at you to collaborate, right? And that goes back to the initial energy I said with the three uh, about in the beginning about elevation and how like elevating ourselves affects the people around us. Like people are going to notice and people are going to be attracted to you. And, and what most importantly, Gemini, for us ourselves, I feel like there's been like a pent up sense of creative energy within us that we've wanted to do a lot. We've wanted to put ourselves out there. We've wanted to create, and it's been a little difficult for us when we felt a little stifled. And I feel like this month, you're just going to feel uh, that energy start to flow out of you and into the world in, in real practical ways. So we're ending up, the, we're wrapping things up with the uh, the hermit. Um, so lots of good things here, you guys. First of all, if there's an important Virgo in your life, uh, this person is going to factor in very much to what we're doing. So I already know my man uh, helps me like as a sounding board for things. And uh, what a good person to have on your side, right? A Virgo to bounce ideas off of and get ideas. So if you have the opportunity to say collaborate with with a Virgo uh, this month, that could be very beneficial to you guys. Um, I also know my meditation instructor is a Virgo and I've been thinking about doing things with her for this channel. So, hey, maybe that'll be in the works. But ultimately what this means for us personally, if you're not like collaborating with the Virgo this month, which I think could be very possible because we're, we have the, Vir, uh, uh, the Hermit sandwiched by the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So lots of opportunity with, uh, if not a Virgo specifically, Earth sign people or at least very practical, wise, experienced people who can really like help you uh, make things happen this month for uh, Gemini. Um, but at the end of the day, this is us coming out of isolation. This is exactly what I was saying with the Three of Pentacles with this energy side by side. We are not in a place where we're here anymore. We're not hiding. We're not in the background. We're not putting ourselves aside. We're actually putting ourselves out into the world. The, the, the hardships are over, guys. Sometimes to me, the hermit is going into nature and sometimes here he's coming out of it. And right now what I feel like is he's coming out of it. He was out there. He was in the cold. He was struggling. He was learning about himself. He was... Uh, uh, figuring out uh, what he's about, connecting to stores, connecting to his higher self. And now he's coming back into the world to share that with the world. So, so Gemini, this is us. Uh, all the lessons, all the all the shit and the trial and turbulations that we've been through. Uh, now we have this opportunity to bring that into the world and help people. And, and like I said, again, the, 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 you know, the, the hermit reminds me of Moses, you know, when he went into the, onto the mountain and got the 10 commandments from God. I think that's how it went. I, I haven't been Catholic in many many years um but if i remember from sunday school from when i was a kid um that was the story right and what did he do he came back he he went to the mountain and spoke to god and came back to earth with something that helped mankind learn know how to live better what a virgo quality huh um so so the hermit to me is like moses and that's the place we're in gemini i think we've been out in the out in the wilderness out in the struggle feeling our feeling a lot of emotions and 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 going through a lot of shit and now we're we're in a place where we're coming back to ourselves and we're and we have what we're doing is what we've been doing is radiating outwards and showing other people and you want to talk about bottom of the deck the moon so if you want to talk about being in our in ourselves being in our place like kind of i I know for me personally, I, I spent a lot of the last few months before like January, I think, even January because I've been doing sober January, so I haven't been going out much at all. Um, it's been a lot of contemplation, a lot of reflection, a lot of like going deep within and disconnecting from things and getting in touch. I've been recording the hell out of my dreams. I've had so many dreams this month, right? And, and, and I'm doing that because I'm connecting to myself subconscious and connecting to a deeper part of myself. So Gemini, this is what I've been saying about the reason why all this is happening is because we've been doing that work and because we've been going in and because we've been willing to face ourselves and harmonize with ourselves. Again, that duality, right? Beautiful way to wrap up this reading we have the wolf and the dog to like almost very gemini right we have that 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 gentler like domesticated side and then we have that wild as fuck side that just wants to go howl at the moon beautiful way to wrap up this reading about how gemini is assimilating our energies in february right 
So I'm going to point the camera down so you can see the cards real quick, and then we'll pull an outcome card to wrap it up. All right, so if you guys can see, let's see if you got it. Yeah, perfect. So we start off here where the theme of this month is balance and security. And I think there's going to be a lot of increase of financial stability and support from loved ones and people around us because we're looking at our opportunities we're looking at the big things that are happening for us the the potential the, that we've that we've learned that we have available to us and we're not staying in our heads and staying in place we're not dealing with petty bullshit we're not fighting we're not arguing we're, we're not burning ourselves out with little people and little insignificant things who don't matter we're taking our we're taking control of our business and our projects and our love and balancing you know socializing balancing business uh, with love and pleasure and, and hard work and all of those things Gemini are coming into balance and we're feeling motivated and our inner child is alive and passionate and creative and now we're sharing those gifts with the world and all, this is a this is a moral here that all everything that we've been through has been for our wisdom and our experience and our gain and 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 we've evolved Gemini we've been growing and evolving over the past few years through all this hardship that we've been dealing with right all right so let's wrap this up with um one outcome card to see what Gemini has to look forward to in terms of an outcome for the month of February. Uh, but I knew this, guys. I knew that it was going to be this positive. I knew that it was going to be this abundant. I knew that the staticness and and the the uh, the the struggle and, and the multi and all that shit was going to be a thing of the past because we've been feeling abundance. And what did I say when when we're feeling good? Those are when our twins harmonize and we get a wholeness of self. Right. <laughs> Guess what it is? Our outcome, Gemini. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Gemini. February is the month that we are ourselves at our strongest. We are going to be killing life in a way that we haven't. We know a way that we know we've been capable of. Gemini, this is also us being surrounded by love. So no matter if you're in a relationship or not, uh, I'm doing a February brunch for all my friends because I hate around for Valentine's Day because I hate Valentine's uh, when people I hate when ha people hate Valentine's Day because we get so caught up in the idea that uh, if we don't have romantic love, we don't have love. And I want to show people that even if you're in a relationship or not you're surrounded by love you have community you have family that loves you you have people around you at all times who who you have the love of the things you do the love of your fucking cat you know like all that stuff we were surrounded by love in gemini february we're just gonna be feeling the love big time and we're in our power in a way that we never been uh or we haven't been for a long time maybe even never before right we are we are powerful in a way we've never been before gemini in the month of february and we're going to feel it and people are going to notice it and we're going to just know that we're surrounded by love and that we're we are we are our best harmonized self what did i say the twins are harmonizing gemini we're killing it right guys what a fantastic fucking reading i hate those like clickbait titles on youtube where it's like the best reading ever but i'm literally thinking about putting that for this one because this is incredible and i want all the gemini's out there to know like what amazing shit we have coming for us this month and for the year to come because this is just laying a foundation for what's to come all right so again uh super sale on readings check that out and, and with the mini love readings check those out as well your donations like fill my heart with so much happiness if you want to help support the channel that's available there too instagram follow me there the name of the deck i'm using is the one i always use but in case you're interested it's going to be there as well um check out my video on aquarius season that has some good insights into what to expect for aquarius season i did many readings for each of the signs um for aquarius season and on, on consciousness um so gemini just uh now is the time like don't i don't think you i have to tell you to not keep the hustle up because I think it's natural because I think we're already moving to a place and it's almost like we're on autopilot where where we see this now and you when you see this it's like getting a taste for blood like you just want more you can't give it up so so Gemini we're just moving forward this month that we're going to be more powerful ever more successful than ever more creative than ever feeling like just the, everyone around us is on our side and it's going to be great all right, guys, uh, I love you so much. You're like the best. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Gemini, but we are, right? 
All right, guys, I love you so much. I'll talk to you in March. Uh, you take care. Check out the weeklies and check out the Aquarius season. All right.